What's up guys, Dave here and welcome to my new home on wheels. So inside here may look like a tiny micro studio equipped with a kitchenette, a full sink, and renewable energy, but outside looks just like a work van. I got this van so I can live in the city most of the time as comfortable as possible and to avoid the high cost of living. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, so make sure you comment below, just below that like button. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the tour. So there's three ways to get inside the van here. Obviously through this front compartment, driver's side door, passenger side door, the big barn doors in the back. What I love about a box truck is, especially this here, is it has a pass-through door. So wherever you're driving, you can pull up, open this door, and now you're in your home. And when you want to cut out the world, just close this door here. So the bed is up now. So you have this giant walkway where you can get in and out. And in order to put this down, there's just these three slats here. There's one. Two. And three. This drops down. And so does your bedding. And now you're in chill mode. So looking down here, we have six big giant storage here, large countertop. What I like to do is throw a couple pillows. I have a bunch of these, throw them up here and you can chill up here. But as far as storage, this first one is gonna be the brains of the operation. Power source here, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter for your AC appliances. Charge controller, this is the DIY lithium battery in here with the BMS. This is a 150 amp hour lithium battery. Over here, just storage, a bunch of clothes, my drone and a bunch of bags and gym shoes. Right over here, I actually have a closet, finally. And what's cool as well, as you can see the back here, this is cedar. Cedar is supposedly good to repel bugs from eating your clothes. On this side here, so the two open away so you can have access to it from the outside. This is gonna be my big giant tool shed, sort of junk drawer. Under here is a bunch of um, power tools and things like that. Over here, just more storage, a bunch of rants. I need to do a lot of organization because I'm not utilizing the space properly. And a bunch of other stuff here. Again, I'm gonna build some shelves in here so I can utilize all of this space. Another cool thing I added is some motion lighting. As you can tell, it's dark here. This is uh, underneath the bed here, in case you're wondering. And as soon as I open this up, there's light, 20 LEDs on a motion sensor. This is just magnetic. If you can see that strip there, place it right up. And there's an on and off switch, and then there's that motion one. As you can tell over here is dark, but as soon as I open this up, there's light. If you want to check this out, I'll leave a link in the description. A lot of drawers. This van is also equipped with a cassette toilet. Just so pull this guy out, hit this little switch, toilet pops out right there. Handle your business. These are on 300 pound sliders, very strong. You can sit on this, no problem. Hit the switch again, in you go. Make sure it's locked, and boom. This is a 2008 E350 Super Duty. This is the first year Ford introduced the new F-Series front end with uh, improvements all around. This is the 5.4 liter V8, so it doesn't exactly sip lattes like a Prius. And if I intend on saving money, I just don't drive it as much. Luckily, I've transitioned to all online work, so I don't have to drive this beautiful baby all that much. 
Now, if we come around this way, this is a little pass-through door here. So it has a little key. So this gives me access to 15 gallons of water here, five gallons each. And it's just held in by this bungee, really easy to access so I can fill it up and put it back in. Right there, lock it up. Underneath the chassis here is a 10 gallon gray water tank. This is the piping that goes into underneath the sink down in here. And it's got the spigot and another bigger hole to drain. And if we come around this way, of course, a locking gas cap, very important. And welcome to my porch. This is my one foot porch. I like to leave my sandals here <laughs> or some plants or something like that. Of course, we have the big double doors here, big barn doors. And the bed is a Murphy bed as well. It goes up so you can have this giant walkway. And on this side, there's another pass through door here, 20 pound propane tank here. It is in a sealed compartment and it's vented outside. So very easy, just disconnect here, take the whole thing, exchange it out, put it back in, drop it in here and lock it in place. So these Michelins right here are actually the same size as Mercedes Sprinters, 245, 75, 16. These are the tires that come stock with Sprinters, very high mileage tires and long lasting. So this isn't my first tiny home on wheels. Before this, I had a 2009 Toyota Sienna. I lived out of, traveled out of, and worked out of. I've always been interested in alternative lifestyles and I decided to take the plunge. My Toyota was a Swiss Army knife tiny home that was very versatile, functional, and comfortable. Now it's off to a new person who will enjoy it and hopefully take her on more adventures than I did. So I knew that hospital green on the inside here had to go right away. So let's go shopping for some paint. Okay, the one we're looking for is Diamonds Therapy. Cover this all up, get this white down, and then start going with the trim here. So I think the toughest part is the prep work, in my opinion. That's the part I hate the most. It's more gratifying to paint a different color. You see a visual change. But all this is necessary, just so I don't get paint all over this wood here. So these brushes at Home Depot are 10 to 15 bucks. At the 99 cent store, 99 cents. So that's where I would recommend getting your paint supplies and then pay the big bucks for the paint. Already starting to take shape. Look at that green pop. All right, very overcast today, but on today's agenda, we will be touching up the paint here, finishing up all the little tiny pieces. Like for instance, up here, that was difficult to get to. Finally finished taping off the rim here. Believe it or not, before uh, when it was green, I painted it this blue color right here. You can kind of see. I tried to do the, the trim here in this blue color. Did the painstaking work of taping every single trim here. That took, believe it or not, it took an entire day. And then it was just too much. And then I painted right over it. <laughs> so let's get going. So here's the countertop on the sink side. Really nice wood grain. Love this look. This little trim here. And look at the size of this sink, everybody. You can actually wash dishes now. And then this I love as well, industrial style pipe. Little Ikea fake plants, I know. It's hard to keep live plants alive. So yeah, this is a foot pump faucet sink combo. And so far, I'm in love with it. Let me give you some light here. And how it works is you just uh, pump down on this foot pump down here. And you pump and out comes your water. And it comes out according to how hard you push. Uh, how hard you push down and how much you go up on your foot. So the down pressure and the up pressure. So below the sink here 
is where that water is. Sorry for the mess. Um, is where the five gallon water is. Right now it's in that first one and then when that one's empty, you just swap it out. And again, that back door is right over there so you can access this water from the outside or the inside. And this little storage area right here is nice and tall. Uh, so I could put some nice tall uh, lawn chairs and stuff. Right now I have some tripods in here, another tool case that I need to give to my buddy, and just some randoms in here, baseball, baseball bat. And then it just closes on these little magnetic pins here. Now realistically, uh, you wanna take advantage of this counter space. So what I do is I grab these rubberized mats here. Um, and this is easy to clean as well. You just rinse them down and drop them right over here. Kind of covers this entire counter. So if you want to, you could put whatever you want up here. And it's not going to slide around. If you, you're driving, nothing slides around. What um, When I'm not doing dishes, that's what I use it for as another counter. But when I am doing dishes, what I like to do is obviously, right, do your thing here. Dump the dishes here. Let them dry. These are like some thick grooves. So they're, like the water can puddle up in here, um, the runoff from the, the dishes. Right? Let it kind of dry off here in its initial stage. And then if you have to bounce, cause you actually are on wheels, sometimes I forget when I close these doors and uh, close the sliding door, I kind of forget that I'm on wheels cause it is kind of like a micro studio in here. Um, anyways, when you need to uh, leave and you're like, oh, what do I do with all the dishes up here? They're still wet. What I do is I grab this collapsible bin right here. So it collapses all the way down to this small, but I put all the, the dishes in here that are still drying. It just sits right in here perfectly fits right in here and then over here i have my uh dr broners and stuff and some uh hand soap and when i'm driving it just stays in here really convenient really enjoying this setup right here you may be wondering what these loops are for here i got four of them so in case you're into tantric yoga you can add your straps right in here and uh do your hang uh, just kidding it'd be cool though right this is actually straps for a surfboard you can hang really long one if you like whatever board you got and some snowboards during the winter time i will be out with the van in mammoth hopefully cross your fingers and i'll be strapping my snowboards right up here there's also one more area to strap on the outside that i'll show you right now so right on the passenger side there are these little uh, connectors here there's four of them and therefore these little loop guys here. So you push this, it's on a spring. So once you're in there, you twist and now you're locked in. Super strong, you strap whatever you want right out here or just rock climb, hang, hang from these. Okay, so let me show you the counter on the other side. Same thing, lights up here, LED. I also have a LED strip that I strung all the way across just for now. This is the three three burner Dometic. Also comes with a stove. I literally just cook pizza in there. Note to self, don't put it on this bottom rack. Even this rack's too hot. Gotta go up. Down over here, I just put a lot of my dishes and stuff like that. Behind this little door is gonna be the propane. A little more storage in here. And this over here is the isotherm fridge actually holds quite a bit of uh, food and it also has a freezer right up in here but realistically I like to put another pad on here and set up an office it's gonna be like a standing desk for me this is actually a great size so let me go ahead and set that up for you see what it looks like just wanted to show you real quick this is how I set up my laptop and a switch or if you're using this, you can slide your phone in here or a tablet. And this is actually how I travel and it doesn't move anywhere. This is aluminum. Underneath is this rubber foot, so it doesn't move anywhere. Okay, so this is how I usually set it up. I leave my laptop and mouse 
switch right up here and this is my standing office right on this counter here because you're not cooking 24 7 and so you want to use this space for most of the time so when i'm done working on the computer you could just close it leave it here drive off no problem or if i want to get fancy with it i slide it right up in here when i need more counter space sits right in there and uh, off i go so just a side note, if you happen to be a tech nerd like me, something like this is awesome to stay organized. It holds all your stuff, doesn't fall out, infinite possibilities of arranging these. It's super slim, slides right into your backpack next to your laptop. In case you're on the go, this is perfect. It has a bunch of uh, hard drives in here, a bunch of cables, cords, some AC outlets, my Galaxy S Pen for my Galaxy Fold that I'm actually filming on. But this is from Cocoon. It's called Grid It. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check this out. Been very convenient to organize everything in one spot instead of searching and searching for cables. Everything is right here. Always with you in a bag. It has a loop. You can hang this up. Really cool and convenient. Then I just grabbed my little IKEA cube seat. It also doubles as a hamper. So I'll move this right over here. So I can use this as a seat. And this is my office right here. Open up the doors, have a view to whatever I like. Nice and modular setup, standing office and a sitting office. So let's talk about some of the things I wanna do in the van that I have yet to complete. We are gonna be adding some Arctic turn windows right here. The hatch style, double pane acrylic with the sunshade and the mesh included. One right ab above the cooktop here and then one right above the sink here. Next thing I'm gonna add is a computer monitor up here. That way when I'm in bed, laying this way, I could be Netflixing and chilling or playing video, video games in bed. And then when I want to, drop this down and have an extra monitor pop out to have two monitors. I also have a Lavender Pro diesel heater that I'm gonna be installing. So stick around for that unboxing and first impressions of this. If you know anything about these Lavender Pros, they're a lot better than your regular Chinese diesel heaters. Apparently this Lavender Pro are from the guys from Webasto and they splintered and made their own company at a fraction of the price. I'll be doing an, uh, a breakdown of that to look at the internals as well so you can see the difference. Another thing I wanna add in this cabin area here is I want to be able to utilize some of this space up here without uh, leaving enough space so I don't hit my head. But I was thinking like a mesh net here that I can put, um, I don't know, paperwork or blankets or whatever up, up in here. Um, I didn't mention there is a backup camera here. It is wired right into the light. So this is what it's like laying in bed. I have the LED strips on. They just kind of circle the, the perimeter here almost. Up in here is tongue and groove wood, really nice. And then we have the max air fan there. So imagine a monitor right up in here, maybe like a 33 or 34 inch computer monitor. So you can be watching whatever you like here through the Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, whatever thing you got, or connect it to a gaming system so you can be playing right in bed. All right, that just about does it for the tour, guys. I just want to send a big shout out to Jacob who designed and built this box truck. You are a gentleman and a scholar, sir, and hats off to you. Also, hang out for that window build install. We are going to be installing Arctic Turn windows and Jacob will be helping. And let me know, are you on the go as well? Are you in a van or are you just interested in this lifestyle? Let me know down below. For my notification squad, hashtag OTG in the comments. I see you guys early. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. And until next time, peace.